The Chinese government is planning to work with other Asian nations to strengthen the use of the local currencies and trade and investment as a part of a broader plan to bolster their regional economic strength. And this is according to Yi Gang, the governor of the country's central bank. Emerging markets should improve their resilience, Yi said on Wednesday during a televised speech at a G20 event hosted by Indonesia. He continues, this is where regional cooperation has a key role to play, closed quote. The official highlighted that the latest group of, of using the local currencies of emerging Asian nations in trade and investment strengthen the region's financial safety net against external shocks. According to Yi, bilateral currency swaps among the Association of the Southeast Asian Nations Regional Grouping, China, Japan, and South Korea, have reached $380 billion. And the head of the regulator also called for deeper market communication among the central banks from advanced economies, adding that it would help to mitigate the spillover effect from pandemic-related risks. In January, the People's Bank of China extended a bilateral currency swap agreement with the Bank of Indonesia for three years to promote deeper financial cooperation and boost investment activity. Jakarta expressed full support of the expanded use of the local currencies in trade and investment instead of the United States dollar to ensure that stability in the global financial markets as the pandemic era stimulus is withdrawn. According to Indonesian Finance Minister Indrawati, local currency settlement arrangements, which cut the demand for the U.S. dollar, should be replicated more broadly globally to manage shocks. Hmm. The Asian nations are rising concerns over potential capital outflows from emerging economies as the U.S. Federal Reserve has previously signaled a tightening of the U.S. state monetary policy. The Fed is expected to launch its tightening cycle in March with an interest rate hike of 25 basis points. Meanwhile, some analysts project a more aggressive half-point move to stamp down inflation. For Headlines with a Voice, this has been the Lockhart News Brief.